I've always been playing with the uh, with you know the opposite uh, energies, so to say, the opposite elements, you know, and I love just confronting them together. That's, I guess, why I call my book Sacrum Profanum, and it's all about like day and night and yin and yang and so on and so on. I guess that I have it in my DNA to mix that kind of stuff, to confront it with each other, you know what I mean? So, to me, that very anti-religious, irreligious aspect of behemoth, if you confront it with a very religious driven aesthetics that are on the record, it already makes a beautiful uh, composition together. It's very complex, it's very disturbing, but I like it. I mean, I, I'm a fan of you know, combining this, you know, instead of just going all the way black or all the way white, how about just boom? Uh, colliding them together, you know? Well, you know what? Lately I've realized I've been a huge fan of Leibach. And uh, I mean, I've been a fan, but I've realized that me being a fan of Leibach, somehow, probably subconsciously, I was driving Behemoth into that direction to make this band something more than just a rock and roll band, something more than just a black metal band, something more than just entertainer or performer. You know what I mean? So in the first place, yes, we are rock and rollers we are we go and tour and people buy tickets so we are also entertainers but we are way more than that you know and there's honestly the channels of our artistic expressions are limitless to be honest and you will see it shortly because by the end of this month we're starting this behemoth exhibition behemoth gallery that's gonna contribute some of the paintings from the from the from the album's uh, booklet and aesthetic. There's gonna be a huge um, human size sculpture, like really heavy steel sculpture, uh, that that represents the the cover. This is gonna be like the exhibit, and and there's you know there's videos, and there's like all these very theatrical performances, and uh, there's merchandise that. The way I see Leibach, you know, just just growing bigger than just a, a musical entity that is not just limited to making music and just looking grim. It's way more than that. To me, it just uh, it's it represents what human nature is all about. I just had the lyrics, I had a song and I didn't have a title. And then it just came together very nicely, you know, because I showed the lyrics to my dear friend and he's also a co-writer for Behemoth's lyrics. His name is Christopher and he's also head of Polish Order Templi Orientis, which is the, the Alistair Crowley order. He brought this uh, quote that we use in the, in the lyrics, is God to live in a dog? No, but the highest are of us. And that's what children's choir is singing in a song. So that made me think of, uh, and then I, I was driving some in LA with a friend of mine. He played to me this uh, electro band called Prayers and they have the song from dog to God. And I saw this and then I thought of sleep not uh, people equal shit. And like I combined these three elements and like God equals dog, that's the name of the song. It happened in a very alchemic way. Just that's how I see that, you know, alchemy of, of, of beings, of, of situations, it's just, I, I don't, sometimes I don't know exactly, sometimes I know exactly you know, how to connect dots and sometimes they, they just connect themselves and I feel like a medium that just, okay, that's what it is. I don't know how, I don't know why, but that's what it should be, you know what I mean? The whole Satanist ride was, was very entertaining, was really cool, but with this one, it feels like we are just going even more over the board, just 
Okay, let's let's fucking do it. Let's 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 take the world by storm. And uh, yeah, I mean, we have already like amazing touring plans set up, and uh, I bet we're gonna be busy for at least next two three years. Um, solid. I was born ready. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm a fighter and I hope I'm a free man in a free world, you know, but uh, apparently our country and the restrictions that are put upon uh, a society uh, are not gonna make me stop, you know, and I mean, if I was a politician, unfortunately I'm not, you know, I'd be like, okay, you know, they're gonna censor me, they're gonna shut me down, they're gonna kick me out from the party or, or no. I'm an artist, you know, I'm driven by that kind of bullshit. I'm driven by that opposition. I'm driven by, by limitations. So if someone tried to um, censor me or just block me in some way or, or tie me up, I'm gonna do everything that is humanly possible to release the chains and release my artistic will. There's no fucking way I can be stopped now. 